All right, happy Sunday, everybody. Let me put the car in the right, in the right gear. This whole Prindle thing had me all, all, all mixed up. This what? Prindle. You ever heard of Prindle? No. P R N D L. Park reverse neutral drive slow. Oh. Prindle. Sorry, I'm not versed on. Uh... It's Prindle. Prindle. You've heard, oh, you've heard of Prindle. Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna take a little adventure on this Resurrection Sunday. Gorgeous out. Turning AC down just so the motor up down a little bit because it's loud. Yes. Why don't they make a why don't they make a, an air conditioning in a car that isn't like super loud, like like, like this? Why is it gotta be like that? That is so annoying. It uh they, I don't think they took into the thinking about that people would be recording in their car. Well, it, it's just noisy. I, even when I'm not recording, it's just noisy. It is. It's annoying. You would think that they, that by now... We put a guy on the moon, we figured that we sure could make an a AC that make a bunch of noise. I'm sure that it probably doesn't in a Tesla. Yeah, it, it does. <laughs> in, in the more high-end vehicles, yeah. I mean, uh, I wish they would fix it. Anyway, so we are going to. Uh, they are making a U turn. Watch this traffic here because people can't drive. And that's everywhere. We say in Florida, but I hear people say that in everywhere. It, Georgia, we're Tennessee. Going this way. We're going to this roof park, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if we were going there. I thought we were going to take the, take the trip, but okay, we can do that. What do you mean? What trip? Go to more than one. Oh. Anyway, so we're. I don't know if I got more than one park in here. Yeah, today. so. <laughs> we're going to take a little ride here. I, I haven't had my Sunday nap. Neither have I, and I, I chose, chose to wait because if I took a Sunday nap, there'd be no Sunday video. I'm just going to tell you that. Straight up. And, um, we have. We have, uh, don't have as much walking footage because the times that I have been walking, I um, didn't record every time. But, um, and then Mr. Willie hasn't been with me on my walks. No, I, and and because, and I, and, and, and I posted this this earlier that I had a little had a little problem with my with my right knee, yes. which was kind of hurting. And I said, I just took, I just took, I didn't. I didn't take any medicine for it or any treatments for it. I just took some time off of it. Um, because sometimes that's that's what the treatment is. Just take some rest. time. Just rest it. And I did. And today, you know, actually yesterday, it started to feel much better. So apparently I was correct. And you are correct. And you have to take time. Take time to uh, let your body rest. Yeah. Even though uh, we... We walk daily, five days a week. I try to. Um, there are some days that we take a breather. Maybe I'll walk one time that day instead of three times that day yeah. or something. So you have to give your body a, a rest and listen to your body. Yeah, we're, we're not training for like I, I, I tell you every time. Nobody's training for the Olympics here. So this whole, you know, the pushers, the, you know, that, that whole 1970s no pain, no gain thing. All that causes people to give up and to be permanently injured. Be hurt. <laughs> so it seems, it seems dumb. Don't I do did it. that 10 years ago and ended up with my meniscus being torn and, uh, and surgery and all that stuff. So I have learned I can do it, but I can't push it too much. No, there's no, there's no contract at the end of the day uh, that that's gonna that's gonna be worth it so and the and the permanent damage you can cause is definitely not worth it so do do all you can and be very very careful uh, even even professional athletes because of their mentality have a problem with not pushing themselves too far and they need trainers and to kind of yeah oh well, they do my goodness uh, and and they, and they make sure that they don't push themselves too much as they're rehabbing uh, because their natural inclination is to go full speed every single time. Uh, so they need trainers, they need people to tell them, whoa, 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 okay, whoa, skip, whoa, skipping. That's enough for today. <laughs> yeah, 
So if so, if that's the case, for you know, for people who are professional athletes, it's definitely the case for us. Sometimes you have to be your own own personal trainer. Goes, hey, hey, whoa, Skippy, whoa, back it down. Alrighty, get across this intersection. People tend to be driving. And we are going to a neighborhood park, a little, a different one than we were at at the sunset. We have, we are blessed here in Tampa that they build a lot of parks in our neighborhoods, and. Um, we have about what three or four in our. We have this one, and then of course we have Temple Crest and and then Rowlett, mm -hmm. um, in our right in our general area within you know within a mile of a mile or so radius. So one of the things, one of the hidden gems in Tampa is the number of parks and rec centers. They're pretty much everywhere. Uh, and I know when people think about you know Florida and think about the Tampa Bay area, they think about beaches and and and, 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 and that kind of thing. Because um, I don't know what time they're going to close. Well, they, well, it's it's four o'clock in the afternoon. They're going to close till sundown. That's what, when, when the parks close. Um, so what, what Tampa actually does, you know, people think about the River Walk and all this other stuff. And you know, and 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 the, and the theme parks, like Ventura Island, Bush Gardens, Zoo Tampa. But what Tampa does very well, I think, is parks. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of, and there's a lot of parks, a bunch of parks. Parks and recreation, they do very well. Yeah, you get, I mean, you got to, you got to give them their props. They do a really good job with that kind of stuff. I don't know how we'll park in here and stay off the street. Oh, this room. This room. Barely by this room. So we're going to take you to um, a park that's not too far from where we live. A different one. I, I, it's been a while since we've done anything from here, but it's got a walking track. And right now, the walking track's better for my my ankles and my knees because walking on the on the soil is a little. Yeah, the other park. A little unstable. Have, it's, it's pretty, but it's a little it, unstable. The other park is more has more beautiful scenery and a view of the river because it's off the water and stuff, but um, it doesn't have a, a per se walking track. It doesn't path. have a paved, a paved it, walking track. It's more like hiking. <laughs> and sometimes it's like up and down hills, <laughs> uh, well, you know, inclines. And, mm -hmm. and my ankles and my knees, like, sometimes aren't digging it. So as we get back, as I get back, I just feel, I feel better if I have a flat surface. Does that make sense? Make sense. What makes sense to me? We'll see you in a little bit. And we are back. And this is what this park looks like. We have a beautiful scenery here. And this particular, not the park, but the track, the trail is here and it's named after a ex co-worker of mine she was like a mentor to me miss ruth fleming it's her wick fitness trail she's very active in this community with us and um she fought for this park to make it uh a place that right down the street from her home that people could enjoy some entertainment. We have a baseball field and the track and a lot of little activities that go on here. Of course, there's a playground over there. Looks like somebody's getting ready to have a little party. But this is what we came to do, walk on. And I'm not sure. I think I've taken pictures here before when we used to walk more last year. And we got out, our, out of our groove of walking. But we used to come here like every other day or so. 
There we are. There's that. <laughs> Turn you around so you can see us. And here we are. We gotta still get us some safari hats. We used to have those. But we lost them. Well, I lost mine. <laughs> I lost mine at Disney Springs. <laughs> Actually, before we went to Disney Springs. At the hotel. Um, Left it at the hotel on vacation. A couple years ago. But the, the, the only downside to this particular walking trail is that there isn't any, there's not much shade. No. Nope. It really isn't. So you're, you're out there just. The circle is a third of a mile, so three laps around is a mile. Uh, <coughs> so that gives you an idea as you get better as you get better at it, what your fitness level is, that kind of stuff. Uh, like I said, for me, it's, it's paved, and for the most part, except for all these cracks, um, and there are some cracks. <laughs> Keeps it even. And I keep thinking this park is kind of, is new, but. No, no, there's nothing new It's been here for a while. Yeah. One Have second. You that most, okay. The most things that you thought were new have been there for 20 years? <laughs> I know. Time just... Time just gets away from me. Yeah. I've been living in Tampa oh. almost 40 years. No, not 40 years. Oh. Let's see here. We got married in 87. Mm-hmm. So, 36. that was 36, almost 37 years ago. So, that was a while ago. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and it was a couple of years before that. So, it's been, it's been a while. But if you, but I, I've learned if you, if you just experience and live every day, then the, the days, the, the weeks, the months, the years, just sort of. I don't know, big truck. Anyway, again, these parks, uh, uh, like, like I mentioned a little bit ago, are just plopped down in the middle of the city, so you do get some noise. It's all right. Uh, but, you know, time, just, time just doesn't get away from you. It just it's a, goes. It's a part of urban living. Yeah. <laughs> and being a country girl, I used to want to move to places like Plant City or Dade City and all that stuff. No. I love being here. In the city yeah I'm from here basically from here wasn't born here but I'm from here I like it here I do I, and, and 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 nothing against you know my friends who live in Plain who live in Plain City I've Plain worked in Plain City, City. Beautiful. love Plain nice. City I love the Plain City people I love them they're they're their best but uh, <laughs> no 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 thank you Plain City Dover uh, Durant no thanks no Love y'all, but now nah, I'm fine. I'm fine right here in the city. This is a, a good place to bring your kids to learn to ride a bike. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, it's like they made us learn how to ride the bike in the street. So if you fell, you got you got scraped up pretty bad, which was. Oh, this is paved. Yeah, you can you scrape you can scrape up pretty bad uh -huh. here too. Uh, so you need some. The best place is to learn is to learn on, on the grass. So when you when you do fall, you don't um, you know you don't bleed necessarily <laughs> because there will be bleeding. There will be blood, um, even if you're wearing a helmet. Riding a bicycle with a helmet, anyway. You know, you know, well, people have like football pads on riding a bicycle. Like I don't know what they expect to happen. Don't need that. You see those kids there and got on none of that stuff. Of course not. <laughs> And they're, having, and they're fine. And they're having a gas. Yeah. I think we. Do you want to try to walk around? You think you need? No, I, I'm not going to push it. We're going to walk back the other direction, I guess. Or we can walk down and walk. No, I don't want to walk across the street either because that's the reason I want to come here because I don't want to walk in the grass. Uh, not because I'm. I'm not, I think you could do the whole track. Uh, I thank you. Thank you for having such faith and confidence <laughs> in me. I appreciate that greatly. But you know. I want to do the whole track. Well, you can one do, lap. You can do the whole track. Okay. And I can finish. I can finish the video. Sounds good to me. Okay, I'm gonna leave you with him, and then after that, uh, she's she's gonna take you with me, and then I'm gonna do something else at the same time because <laughs> we do have two cameras. I do the oh. magic of video oh, and uh, editing well. and filmora.
Yeah. Who uses Filmora? Raise your hand. I use Filmora. It's thirty-five dollars a year. Yeah. So please use, please use a real editor that doesn't have the um, the thing on the on, on the bottom. The watermark. The watermark. <laughs> please just go ahead and use that uh, because the watermark it's thirty-five dollars a year. You won't miss it. <laughs> you won't. It'll be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and take a, a scroll, then I'll come back, and then we're gonna give you guys an update. Yeah. On Mr. Willie's health. How do you think? Oh, good, on the Anna. channel and on Debbie's health and what's going on. All right. Okay. All right. Have fun. I'll see you in a little bit. Um, where are you going? Take this with you. Take this with you. I have my own, I have my phone. Okay. I guess you're going with me. Oh. Uh, Well, folks, it's a beautiful day. We had a wonderful service this morning at church. Um, we actually had service Friday night on Good Friday, but it was uh, via Zoom. And um, I thought I was going to tape that, but kind of forgot. <laughs> I went for a walk at, right after I got off work, went for a walk. And because of all the trees in our uh, area, I got a caterpillar on me and it stung me. So it kind of threw me off track. And I uh, had to clean up and do all of that before we got on to church service. But we had a wonderful church service via Zoom. And then we... Uh, we did, oh, communion. We had communion in church. And uh, it was very enjoyable. Pastor taught a good message. And uh, we had a bunch of people online. Our church is unique now because we have a bunch of people from Chicago and other states that are on and uh if you are interested in being in on our church service let me know and i can give you all the zoom connection and we have service we have prayer on wednesday and uh uh regular church sunday sunday at 9 30 and then evening 5 30 and uh on sundays and you can zoom in at any time and get to see that so i'm gonna get off so i can focus on walking and then come back with mr willie be right back all right like i said I'm just being very, very careful. I've had a history of of inflammation in my ankles and stuff, and like you know, like, you know, like I say all the time, it's 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 just being it's being careful, doing doing what you can, and trying to be as smart as you can while while you're doing it. So, uh, and because we're where we are, Miss Debbie can keep going around around the park. I can if there aren't any trees or spots where I can't see her so I can keep an eye on her the entire time and if she looks over here she can keep an eye on me to make sure that I'm okay too uh, so we're both just doing the best we can with what we got while we can alrighty um, as far as my health is going my health is good I had Friday I had um, on good Friday I had an appointment with my cardiologist who is very very happy with my blood pressure uh, I think I told you in, in previous video 112 over 64 bragging numbers baby my circle bragging numbers <laughs> uh, a really slow heart rate because it's supposed to be full oxygenation lungs clear the whole the whole nine doing doing well thank you very much 
Uh, I am thrilled. I am blessed with the Lord. So um, we just trying, we're just trying, just trying to keep that going, you know. Let's see if we can spot Miss Debbie on the trail. Hang on a second. Let me move, let me move my fat fingers. And there we go. There she is. Making the trek. There we are. All righty. Flip it back around. There we go. But it's a beautiful day out. It's gorgeous. It's, about, it's, it's the mid 80s. The um, humidity's down. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give you an idea. We passed by these on the way by. I keep putting my big fat fingers in the way. Um, you probably remember these. But these are chin up bars. And they've got all sorts of ways to use them. The joint use pull up stage bar station and uh, some instructions. Now, no, you won't be seeing me doing this anytime soon. No, I'm telling you, no, 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 no. You, 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 you can want that. You can, you can mention that in the comments as much as you want to. Not going to happen. Uh, these are for assisting. Uh, push-ups and planks and, and this, again this is a, a pommel horse this is a made of steel pommel horse yeah if you miss that's gonna hurt all right I think here's some instructions on how to use the parallel bars yep, there are walking just stand between them and walk um, and for a lot of folks that's that's really a good thing you know um, especially if you have a problem with your balance, they'll help you. Um, you can do push-ups against them, leg swings, hold yourself up and, and, and support, and, and, uh, support hold, uh, support hold and swing. That's the, the difficulty three, uh, support and travel. That means you can scoot yourself along doing arm dips. That's good for the triceps, chest and shoulders and hand travel, uh, the stand between the parallel bars and grasp. Yeah. So again, uh, having the instructions on how to do that stuff is super important. That way you make sure that you don't hurt yourself. Uh, we mentioned that also we have rec centers here. And this is the back of the rec center. Where, they, where the city has all sorts of activities. And here they're, you know, they're brightly painted. They have local artists come and 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 paying. I think this is thinking of seeing one. That one says, "Work hard uh, and play hard." It's really colorful. It's it's nice. And we mentioned earlier that there was a a baseball field. I'm sorry for moving you around so so quickly. There's a baseball field here, and over there across the street is a um, housing unit. That is a, that's a church, uh, it's a housing unit, uh, and a lot of the kids kept coming here and play and do activities in the summer. Uh, it's nice. Again, and of course the playground, the playground equipment, basketball courts, that kind of thing. And look who's coming up, the, look who's coming up the walk. Look who's coming up the walk. And she's not, she's not doing any vlogging. Hmm, I was right. Oops, sorry. There we go. Alrighty. And on this side, we have some trees. I love trees. And if you haven't seen, if you wonder what that stuff is hanging off the trees, that, my friends, is Spanish moss. Spanish moss is very, very popular in this area. Uh, it's everywhere. It's funny, we have Spanish moss on this tree, which is an oak tree. And here we have no Spanish moss because Spanish moss is an air plant, and no, oh hi, see, and and, and no, it does it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt the tree at all because it gets all this nutrients from the air and not from the plant. So, but there's a lot of it around. All right, 
Sebi has. We're gonna go back over there. Miss Sebi has has done her round. There we go. Here I am. There we go. I should have brought my water with me. Oh, okay. Well, let's go get your water. It's in the car. Staying hydrate, you know, even when it's nice like this, staying hydrated is, is, super, is super important uh, because if you don't stay hydrated, you can. What happens is it 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 starts it starts the, the whole inflammation circle, uh, and a lot of people end up in trouble because they're not hydrated. So stay hydrated. Drink drink your water, and water is better than Gatorade or Powerade or whatever. <laughs> water is better than anything. Water is what was made for our body. Water works the best because your body's your body's full of it. So water works the best. There you go. Some some swings out there for the little ones. And again, some of these trees that do that have done these cool things, like decide to reach down onto the ground to give you a place to sit. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. No, they got eggs over there. What? They got, they, they're having an egg hunt. I just saw they got eggs out there. Oh, they... Is that an egg that may be that... That they, that they just planted or was left from before? They're having a, a party. Oh, okay. And they did plant... They hid eggs for the kids. Oh, okay, cool. They have a party. Okay. I heard them talk. Oh, Easter egg hunt. That's kind of cute. That's kind of cool how just, that, that tree's just sort of reaching down and giving you a place to sit. Oh, yeah, they're having an Easter egg hunt. There's one right there. I found it. Found it. And there's another one right there. Found it. Where do I win? Anyway, let me unlock the car here. Sorry for swinging you around like that. I'm gonna swing you around again. Mm, that felt really good. I think if it was cooler, I could do at least another lap. Oh well, yeah, and, and the idea is, is uh, uh, like we were saying, uh, the, the the only downside of this particular trail is that there isn't any shade along the way. It, yeah. So when it's hot and the sun is out like it is today, even with the da even with the humidity being down a little bit, it's hot. So just be careful. Yeah, I didn't want. I could do another lap, but I didn't want to risk it with the how bright the sun is. The best time probably to come here is early morning or late in the evening. And with and you know and with um, thank. God for daylight savings time, with the um, with the sun setting at like quarter to eight, uh, that really makes it nice uh, because you can get out here right before the sun sets, and you know it's not terribly it's not not terribly early in the day, not like living in in the northeast or in regular time. Yeah, you can close her. That works. That works. All right. Well. You wanna... I talked. I've, I've already told him about my recent doctor's appointment and how and and, and how the cardiologist was just thrilled because uh, I'm doing so well, I'm doing so well. Sure I don't think. Did you tell them about your test that you had done? That was the last video we talked about your. Which one? When you the you... stress test? Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll talk about the stress test. Yeah, I took my stress test and I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's, it's the chemical stress test. No, it's not the one that, where they put my fat butt on the on the treadmill. No, but I think you we, could have done it. No, no. I, again, I appreciate your confidence, Amy, but no, I don't want to do it. That's eleven minutes on the treadmill, and it's torturous because they speed it up. And then I, I, I did it the first time, and scared the tech so bad because at eleven minutes, at exact eleven minutes, I just hopped off and she, and she thought I fell. I was like, I was like, done. <laughs> I'm done. <sighs> no, 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 no. But no. I, th I think you could have done. No, uh, no, no, no. But um, they gave me the sh you know the shot, the, the, 
and and the first time that was it's terrifying. It's absolutely mm-hmm. terrifying. Um, and if, if if you've had that, write out in the if you've had that before, write it in the comments. It's actually terrifying because you feel like you felt when you had your incident, mm-hmm. whatever it was. It makes your heart race. heart race and you're short of breath, but it's only like for and five it's only seconds. For five seconds, it's just a little time. Oh my God! But you feel like oh, it, yeah. it's been about it's, it's happening again. Fifteen years since <laughs> I've had one, because I haven't had any heart itch. But I was back then, I was having heart palpitations because I had just been put on uh, water pills, and the water pills was draining my potassium, and low potassium can cause you to think that you're having a heart attack. Um, it can speed up your... Is it? Oh, I thought that's said your battery was low. No, my battery is low, but we're, doing, <clears throat> we're fine. But if it, my battery dies, we'll just use your phone. We'll work mm-hmm. it out. Potassium makes, you, makes your heart flutter. And I had just um, been promoted to a you know a management position and was under stress and different things like that. So I thought one morning I was just it was just going crazy so I went to the emergency room and and they admitted me to do tests you know they thought my heart was bad and um found out that my potassium was very very low because of taking the the water pill that was prescribed to me and um for blood pressure and 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 swelling but as it turns out, my heart was fine, but I had to have one of those chemical stress tests, stress tests during that process. They did all kind of scans and different things and all of that to um, to rule out my heart being having an issue. But, but thank God, my family doesn't have a history of heart issues. Um, we do have the blood pressure. We do have the diabetes, but I'm canceling all of that. No more. It's canceled. Just like the heart thing, it's canceled yeah. in his family. So we had um so I did the, the stress test. And this time it was different. This time I think they injected me with the stuff and, and, and I went like and the whole thing was over. I couldn't even tell when it, when it, happened. it happened. It was just that it, it was it was over, it was over like that. Mm-hmm. And um I got the I got the results back. Uh, in February, and uh, that's why I'm sure we talked about this before because it happened in February. And the doctor said, huh, n- "Nothing there. Nothing normal. Your your um, your graphs from 11 years ago are fine." And um, like I said, and I told you a minute ago, I went to um, to see my cardiologist Friday, and um, for one of the follow ups, actually, I want to talk talk about one of my medications, and it was fine. And and it, and my blood pressure is like bragging numbers. 112 over 64. Yeah, he sent me his blood pressure and it was bragging very numbers, low. baby. Mm-hmm. Like somebody in their 20s. <laughs> uh, you know, everything so, so, so everything is everything is cool and I feel and I feel great. Uh, so yeah, as, as far as my health goes, I'm I'm doing really I'm doing really well. Thank you. Thank you for all your prayers and concerns, but I'm really doing very very well. Yeah. And if you're on Facebook, I posted a picture. That picture was from 10 years ago when right after he had a triple bypass and then after the triple bypass they he still had fluid on his lungs so that day that that picture was taken he had just had uh they puncture your lung they 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 actually uh there's a sac that forms around your lung and you have a little sac that forms around your um, part two, the membrane, and sometimes it will fill with fluids, especially after trauma or, or whatever, and it makes it t- it makes it harder to breathe. And if you don't, you can leave it there. You can leave it there forever, as a matter of fact. But what will happen is that it metastasizes, or it just gets then doesn't, doesn't grow cancer, but it gets hard, and then that pulls down your lung capacity. And as a professional musician, uh, I don't I don't really want that. Thank you. So what they do, you ready for this? They take a needle. Everything takes a dang on needle. needle. Everything takes a needle. And Nick's needle this one big. Um and they And they don't put you to sleep. No, they put some um some 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 deadening stuff on your skin and they stick the needle actually in between your ribs and sometimes you can feel it grow across your ribs. It's terrible. 
and then it punctures the, the membrane, and that fluid just pours out. It was it, a it, big jar of fluid came is, out. Yeah, it was. It was more than it was like two liters of of, of of fluid. It was pink and foamy and gross, and that's why I looked like like I looked, like I took a picture like. I just want to go home. Can I just go home now? Go oh. ahead. <laughs> but you know, when it's over, you feel you feel a whole bunch well, better. You can take a deep breath. You can finally take a deep breath. But, yes. Oh, I was like, I just want to go home. I don't want to be any more doctors. They keep that needle away from me. It was just awful. Oh, you know. I saw that kid coming up. I was like, who is that? I don't know. Somebody who lives right. <sighs> but um, that's his health and. As far as with me, I'm I'm doing well. I as I told you on my walk the other day, I went for Tuesday. I went for my mammogram, my an, annual, which is it's kind of like two months late because I normally go in Nove November. I think it's more than two months, but it's a little late because I w wasn't able to get in for my physical. Um, when I was supposed to and and so but anyway I went for that and um haven't heard anything back on that so praise God it's good it's good I'm believing that it that's good um I've had issues with with uh breast tissue I have very dense breasts so when I go for a mammogram I go <laughs> they so they really smished them and because I've had the uh, parts of it where they want to take biopsies and do all of that and and so on and so forth. But that ha that hasn't happened in over five years. So that's all good. Um, and I'm, I'm, I've always been close to 20 pounds for the past month, but I did lose three pounds in the month of March so I'm happy with that and my weight just goes it right now it's I, I lose weight of a half a pound here half a pound there I'm not gaining that's the main thing I'm not gaining and um, I'm doing this with uh, WW Weight Watchers whatever you want to call it I'm doing it with WW and um, pretty much Willie is eating whatever I eat. I just eat whatever in the house. <laughs> and with the the and, good thing about and eating out is so ex so ridiculously expensive anymore. Yes, it is. I mean, the dollar menus are are are, are history. So you know, spending eleven dollars to have a number three at McDonald's is like it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. It's just not. It's, it's not, bad for you. It's not just just not worth it. You know mm -hmm. and. And I'm, I'm I'm not somebody who goes and it tastes bad. Well, it doesn't. It's it's, it's, it it's doesn't not. Taste it's not bad. going to taste like you made it at home. It wasn't ever going to. So that never stopped me from eating one. It just never did. Just when you're hungry, you want to eat. Well, or, or you're bored or whatever. Mm -hmm. But when it's eleven and twelve bucks for like a hamburger and some fries, I'm like, nah, never mind. I'll just wait. I get home. And as you can see, I make meals for for us um, through the week. I don't eat the meals that much. And him and my son mostly eat mm -hmm. those. But I, I make them where if I want to, I can eat them and count them in my Weight Watchers points. So I know what the points are for it. But um, it's weird because you can eat whatever you want. It's just quantity. I mean, I can eat... We went out for... Uh, breakfast this morning and uh, where we go to Village Inn once a month maybe if that we haven't been in a long time maybe been a bit. but um, I can eat that and, and be fine um, that's why it was so important for me to get out and move though today so you have to move your body and um, as you all know on, on the news and stuff Oprah left us at WW <laughs> He, he doesn't want to talk about you hear it. This? You see this face? <laughs> this is a big, who gives a crap? Watch. <laughs> Let me show you. You see that? Have I have, have I said my piece on that way? But but uh, I have lost any any faith. Of, well, I never had faith in her, but I used to like Oprah years ago. Uh, but 
it's kind of all of that has kind of just drained off. But I didn't join Weight Watchers because of Oprah. I've been in Weight Watchers back and forth for years. So I joined because it's a program that works for me. And um, the whole Ozempic thing and all of that, um, my doctor tried to give me some um, Ozempic. Don't take diabetes medicine to lose weight. But, um, and and he didn't. And Don't he, take diabetes medicine to lose weight. He did it because he felt like I I seemed like I needed a boost. But. Um, don't take diabetes medicine to lose weight. No. If you don't have diabetes. Don't take diabetes don't medicine. Don't take the medication from people who need it. So, I'm not doing that. Um, so my, my weight loss is going to be normal. It's going to be trash, you know, uh, it's going to be a learning process and I'm okay with that. So <sighs> that's it for me. We got eight, all, we have more than right today, over 800 subscribers for the channel. Yes. And a bunch of y'all from India. <laughs> I've been watching See, I know, I know. I know. A bunch of y'all from India, and I, we appreciate that. We really appreciate it. I'm so grateful for all of the new subscribers and 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 share my videos. We share the videos that we post and everything. We want, as I always say, we want to make this not just for um, entertainment, but also to, to be a ministry, also to help people. I mean, who knows what the struggles that we have, you may have, and we can say something that triggers you or helps you. And I hope that that's what we can do. Yeah, you know, we when you can share your, we, when you can share your life um, and you share your life, you know, in, in the hopes that somebody else is going through the same. If so, if someone's going through the same thing, they can see how you how you you're dealing with it. Are you are you overcame? And that might help them because a lot of times. You know, especially how the world is now, people are very, very isolated. And um, YouTube has given a lot of people an outlet that may not have that may not have had that outlet before, and they're able to, to see other people and hear other people's stories when they didn't before. And when you're when you're in trouble and you're isolated, you're just inside your own head a lot. There's so much and depression yeah. and blah blah blah, and it's because people are inside their their own mm -hmm. brain too much, and and what happens is you get this echo chamber in your brain is of, of, of negativity and fear and 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 doubt and, and and terribleness, and if you can break out just by hearing somebody else's story, how they got through something, and the stuff that we go, the stuff that that, that we're going through, I've been through, is not just us. No. No, a lot of folks have been been through the same thing and worse, and have come out smelling like a rose on the other side. And if you can, and we can learn from somebody else, that's better than having to learn that, for yourself. Yes, <laughs> it's a whole lot better than having to go through it. So, if if we can help, yeah, we're here to help. We're, we're and, here to help. And and Jesus paid the price. We're celebrating today about His resurrection from. The suffering he did all of the things that we go through Jesus went through them on the cross for us so that we wouldn't have to the crown of thorns pastor said that Friday and it really triggered me the crown of thorns where it digged into his skull and his brain all of that is that mental health stuff he suffered all of that mental health and all the things that you hear in your brain and what goes through. Jesus died for that. We don't have to suffer through that. So all the bodily harm and bodily things that we go through, Jesus died for that. He, he died on that cross for all of the, us. So the resurrection today is him coming back and we don't have to suffer no more you know the price has already been paid and that's you know and that's the hardest part for people to know that even if even if you're dealing with something that that by your own hand uh, the fork didn't make you fat stop it it did not nope it's not the fork it made us fat I'm not blaming the fork I'm not even blame I'm not even blaming the food and and the food is 
Yes, the food in this country is suspect, suspect from the beginning. Yes, I know that. That's why you pray over your food. Oh, you know, you, you know, it. you know they 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 put things in the food to preserve it, blah blah blah, and all this stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean the food is sus to start with, but nobody nobody tied me down and shoved it in my face. They didn't. It it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Um, so even the damage that you may cause yourself. You know what? And this person is parking. This person doesn't understand urinal parking, apparently. Uh, I'll explain. Why I'll, do people have to park I'll right by you when I'll there's all this other space? I'll explain urinal parking <laughs> later. And and, and guys, you, y'all know what that is, right? How you go to the urinal. Anyway, um, so the idea is that even if you, even if some of the things that you've caused yourself, that's all been paid for. And so you don't have to suffer for it. You don't. You don't have to. You don't have to just take that on yourself. Well, you know, when I was in my twenties, if I had just not blah 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 dot 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 blank blank blank, um, yeah, that's that all may be true, but there isn't any reason to think that somehow because this is happening to you now that you somehow have to pay all the consequences for it because all oh, it's been paid for you already. Don't you know? Don't torture yourself in your own brain about it. Just no. don't. Just just don't. It's not worth Let it. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. And I'll no, I a terrible Disney movie and a terrible song. Anyway, we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else, especially people who want to park park right next to you. You, 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 you seen that when you when you when you park somewhere and there's 87 parking spaces on either side of you, but they want to park right they by park you, right next to you. Why is that? Why? 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 Anyway, we got to get out of here. Make room for somebody else. So remember this. Never forget that we love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. We'll see you when we see you. Yes. Peace. Peace.